Cadillac style. Check this baby out. 1976, the very last of the full size. It's got 3,500 miles and it's legit. It's got four original power beams. Can you imagine selling a Fleetwood Brome without halogen high beams, which was an option? Halogen low beams was an option. For some reason, this thing sat outside in the rain. And this is a genuine, authentic 3,500 mile car. But someone parked it outside. Almost no signs of wear or corrosion. It's amazing. Got this tiny alternator. Someone changed the lower radiator hose and put some junky worm type clamp on, but this is a real legitimate 3,500 mile car with wide whites that don't suit it. Fleetwood Brome, this is the way they used to build them. Messy. white with a red padded vinyl top and a kind of goldish crushed velour interior. Let's see if we can get some shade, get rid of that reflection. 3,500 miles. Who put a red vinyl top on this thing? The factory? Fleetwood Rome, but it's not a talisman. Look at the cadmium blading. You never see that. Usually these fender extensions are all corroded. Bernie, South Burlington, Vermont. Maybe the Bernie Sanders. These fender extensions are usually rotted away. Amazing. Just sat outside and got a little rusty. You watching this, my buddy Giddy? 3,500 mile Cadillac with a weird gold champagne interior. Wow. It's even got the trumpet horn option, but it doesn't have the halogen high beam option. It's got the trumpet horn option. Doot, doot. And a tiny alternator. Why wouldn't they put the 100 amp alternator? Why put this little 60 amp alternator? What does it say? It is a 63 amp baby alternator. Little heat shield on the upper control arm. Amazingly well preserved, except for sitting out in the rain and rust on the factory hardware. We'll have to fix that up and we'll get rid of those wide whites on the bias ply tires. We're at the car corral in Waterbury. Some of the cars here are just total junk. Let's just close the hood on this Cadillac. Tower clamp, factory original. Star 9, 19. Battleship. Oh, that's the way they made them. Steel wow. was cheap. The Chinese weren't doing anything. 429, last year was 1967. Try note horn, the trumpet horn, Cadillac style. Yeah. 63 dual master cylinder. Yeah, first year. year is not original. No, nope. it's an aftermarket painted black. Yeah, hard to find original parts. This stuff all got crushed. You can always have them. Uh, yeah. First year for the alternator. Yeah, yeah. First year they had a generator, and the first year for the alternator. It's got one tower clamp. Our original, the glass bowl, gas filter, mm -hmm. hot stove choke. 63 Cadillac four door hardtop. Uh, 64. This is a 64? Yeah, 1964. 64. Hey, you can't go wrong with Cadillac. Cadillac style. Especially that one. Beautiful nice. light turquoise. They made a short New York City yeah, version with a shorter back, one foot shorter. I saw one, I said, what the heck is that? It's called the New York City Cadillac. Oh, this is beautiful. Cadillac style. Oh, we got this junker here, Satellite 68 junk. Hey, boy, just like new. Just like new. Should have LR7815 TPC spec tire performance criteria. Tires that used to throw their cat whiskers out of the tread. Even when they were new. Junk. Fleetwood Roll. Cadillac.
can't turn off this video because it's not going to record if I turn it off. I keep saying memory full. Check out this BMW 89, just like my V12 740 V8 parts car. Bubble, 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 bubble. Running parts car with a seat twister, twist o matic seat when the cables pop out of their housing and the seat goes back crooked just like it does in mine. Something I gotta fix on mine. Got the cell phone, audio box, running parts car. Doors closes like brand new, but 800 bucks, 700, 500. Nice 1970 Le Mans and mint turquoise and a 73 Mustang and a 73 Cougar, both convertibles. Some stuff is nice, but a lot of it is eh. Good from far. Be careful what you buy on eBay. Best of everything. New interior, new top, new engine, new trans. Looks pretty good. Cruise Omatic C4. I like those hubcaps with the trim rings. Last year for the full size Mustang. The year after this, it went to the Farrah Fawcett Mustang. I know if I call it a Pinto, guys are going to say it wasn't a Pinto. Uh oh. I thought I saw some rust here. Nope, just a little scuff. Looks pretty good. Plum in the summertime. And your Mustang, or your Cougar, or your XR7, or your Jaguar, your Trans Am, your Rambler. Lots of nice cars here. Saw a nice Rambler over there. Let's see if we can get over there before the memory runs out. It's air-cooled weekend at the Waterbury, formerly the Stowe Classic Car Show. Let's put this on pause for a second. Defender. Riviera convertible with the fender extensions all breaking apart. Dodge Brothers. Oh, Plymouth. And a 64 Rambler. Straight six. Three on the tree with not a speck of rust. Rambler. Everything here is for sale. Carpets are a little dirty. What a shame. This is an original car with 68,000 miles. It's got a radio under the dash and a three on the tree, a knee knocker. Looks pretty good. I had a few of these. They're gone. Oh well. Can't keep them all. That's a nice Rambler. Probably worth half of what they're asking. Nobody wants a Rambler, even one with a two-tone white roof. Lots of cars here at the Car Corral. All kinds of hot rods. I can't show them all. Mercedes, Plymouth, Dodge, Cadillac, Ford. All right, let's go find Miss Hipchick and have some nice dinner.